Right, so the, the main focus of the presentation really is around some work we've been doing on a single speaker speech to text captioning model, which has a few applications. And this is something that Sajin and Way With Words have combined to provide to the University of Cape Town, with whom we've been um, collaborating and working together for around four years now. Uh, what we had, what we started to deliver to them about four years ago was a hybrid model of human transcription from the way with word side, which is obviously a 99% plus accurate document. And that is sent through to Sajin via API for auto alignment from the transcript to the recorded media. And then that follows a process of quality assurance before being returned to UCT. This is a very accurate model. It is uh, dependent on a turnaround time, which is between 24 and 48 hours. And it's running at a, at a high volume scale at the moment. However, there are some challenges around, you know, a human and um, automated model combined in the hybrid uh, sense of the service. So we decided to look a bit more into this single speaker captioning model to provide added value to the service we already had established. And this is featuring things, um, you know, such as the new end-to-end -end models that uh, Thomas of Amberscript mentioned before. And uh, I'll move ahead now with what we've what we've found so far before uh, ending off and highlighting some of the additional areas that we believe could be uh, developed further to offer a range of services that that might speak to different use cases differently. Um, that's why I've got customization added here as one of the benefits of an automated model. Of course, the rest is well known as far as uh, price going down, scalability going up, and all the added benefits of automation, not to mention the importance of compliance and accessibility in today's um, environment. So with the kind permission and, um, uh, uh, of, uh, and collaboration of UCT, I'd like to share some of the findings we found. Uh, we put together some sample data sets to analyze whether or not this model has any value. To do this, we used previously recorded and transcribed lectures. So to be sure humans transcribed these, and we created a single speaker model for individual lecturers against which we could compare uh, results. And then Sajin also created a combined academic model against which we could compare all of the individual models for, for further efficiencies. So once we'd put these uh, models together using at least 10 hours of recordings and related transcription, we analyzed percent accuracy and error scores against um, more recently transcribed data so that we could get benchmarked uh, accuracy and error percentages. And the results will follow. So just a note on the difference between percent accuracy and percent error. I believe most of you on this uh, conference will be aware of these. Uh, percent accurate simply refers to the number of co correct words in a transcript that's been accurately transcribed by a human against an automated version of the same. And in this case, 100% is the gold standard for what one can achieve in accuracy. Percent error rate, on the other hand, refers to how many words are incorrect against the transcription and is more of a, a, um, a, a legacy method of interpreting how a accurate a transcript is in this context. Uh, but it must be noted that transcription convention can affect the way in which we interpret accuracy. So, for example, on the way with word side, we have some style guides um, which our transcribers need to follow. And when we review the videos, it might be in some cases that Sajin system has accurately transcribed uh, in an automated fashion words that were excluded from the transcript on account of a style guide. Uh, for example, there may be repeated words which are not transcribed for ease of reading. And in this case, uh, figures can be skewed somewhat. But to dive into the key findings, across the sample data set, we noticed on a file level, so that would be out of all of the recordings that were transcribed and um, used to generate these models and then benchmarked against uh, the automated adapted model, 
uh, we noticed a minimum gain in accuracy, not error rate, of 3.5%. There was a maximum gain shown of 33% and an average gain of 15.4%. And when we were analyzing these results, there were, there were two specific outliers of minus 10.4 and minus 20.7%, which really um, confused us. And we investigated the uh, resultant caption files to figure out what could have gone awry. And when we finally went to the actual recordings themselves, uh, it was evident that across about 100 transcripts for this particular lecturer for whom we were creating a model, there had been two instances of a guest lecturer um, being recorded in the original lecturer's place, which in fact uh, caused a negative gain, which in a way validates the veracity of the model, seeing as it was listening out for a particular voice, voice against which it was trained. To have a look now at the comparison of uh, accuracy across the lecturers for whom we produced models, we have for lecturer, we have, uh, sorry, just to check if everyone can still hear me. Yes, we can. Yeah. Fant fantastic, thank you so much. So we have three uh, bars on, on this graph here. The first one is before adaptation. The second one is after adaptation. And the final one is an academic model featuring uh, the end-to-end -end model we've mentioned previously. The green bar indicates Saijin's general South African um, automated speech recognition model, which it must be said is best in class. Um, this represents the accuracy score compared to previously transcribed lectures which humans produced. In other words, 99% plus accurate. So out the box, if you will, the model of Saijin's performed fairly well at above 90% accuracy for the first lecturer. Uh, after adaptation, this improved significantly across the board, it can be seen. And then the academic model is a combination of all single speaker models together on new architecture uh, in order for vast improvements to be achieved in terms of uh, a automated transcript that has been trained versus a pre-adapted model with a highly uh, proficient uh, speech recognition system in terms of South African competencies. Uh, it's worth mentioning at this point, and apologies, I hadn't done it before, Way with Words is a United Kingdom registered company as well as a South African registered company, but Saijin's accuracies do fare well across almost all dialects of English. However, it is a South African specialist. Um, we have uh, some percent error comparison uh, graphs here to, to show. I'd wanted to touch on the point that speaker disfluencies and repetitions and um, non-content words as well as incorrect transcription can sometimes throw these figures off. However, um, you can see that there's a significant improvement across the post-adaptation and academic model um, scores that we can see here. So apologies, I've, I've rushed through some parts of this on account of the technical difficulties on my side but I will minimize this now so I can see what is going on uh, on the browser. Apologies for that infinity view. I'll stop sharing for now um, and take any questions that may be on the other screen I wasn't able to see. So at first, uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, we don't have any questions yet I have uh, seen, um, and um, yeah, I'm not sure if anybody, if, if people already took the opportunity to go to the coffee break or if they are still coming up questions. Um, mm. We've already started with a break in the other room. Um, and given that the feedback last time was that we have far too uh, few breaks, I would also encourage you to actually take the break um, um, but somebody's currently writing a question or didn't. <laughs> I will drop our contact details here on the shared notes, seeing as I just ended the, um, the slide early there. Apologies, I wasn't able to successfully navigate between the two, just so that they're available for anyone who would like to contact either ourselves or Saijin. 
but um, we are very keen to explore further options um, around what I've discussed, that being an overall academic model, which could be tailored towards a university or a particular department of a university by ingesting course materials and notes um, and also training per speaker voice. It could be the case that a vice chancellor or chancellor who frequently addresses um, the university and beyond would like to have a model provision for themselves, at which point almost any recording can be automated with a high degree of accuracy and it can improve over time with um, further training. And also, as Amberscript mentioned before, we're less developed in 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 regard to a, an, uh, an an integrated editing tool between ourselves and Sigen. However, it does exist on their side, so we are also interested to explore that in terms of the final the final step between the accuracy a an excellent ASL model can give with the extra bit um, proved by a human. Okay. Um. What I would be curious, so um, you mentioned that you are uh, very good with uh, English accents and so on. You might not be aware that probably most of your listeners are currently German-speaking people. <laughs> But uh, I would guess from what I've heard uh, that German at least is not in uh, the languages that you support with Way with Words currently. We do on a small scale. However, if there's a requirement to expand what we're able to do, we, we definitely can, um, you know, go further than investigating it and, and uh, bring it into action. But certainly it's not our specialty. We do have transcribers who are proficient in German and, you know, we could start to use um, the processes we have in place. And it would it would be necessary for us to check on Sajin's side how well the model could fare in that regard, but um, I believe at the moment English is definitely um, our strong suit for sure. Okay, it's only, uh, I just wanted to ask because probably 50%, I guess, of the people who are listening currently are from that area and um, Opencast is w quite strong in the German speaking community, not only Germany, but Austria and Switzerland also. Um, right, and, understood. Um, yeah. On the other hand, thank you for the presentation again. And um, as I mentioned, uh, we have a coffee break that's probably for some of you now shorter. But um, if you want to have a chat with others uh, informal, please go to the other room.